Okay, on the next example, we're given two functions. We're given the function f of x equals x squared plus 5x minus 2, and we're given the function g of x equals x squared minus 1. First thing we're asked to do is to find f composed with g of x. So we take x and we put it into g, and then that answer is going to go into f. So we take x, plug it into g, in other words find g of x, and then we use f. Okay, right now f doesn't matter, we write it down, but we're not using it. g of x, g of x is x minus 1. So g of x becomes x minus 1. Now, this gets put into the function f. And notice what function f does. It takes the input squared plus 5 times the input minus 2. Okay? Input squared plus 5 times the input minus 2. The input is x minus 1. So we get x minus 1 quantity squared plus 5 times the input which is x minus 1 and then we pick up the minus 2. Now to continue here this first part we do basically by distributing some of you have been taught to call it the FOIL method x minus 1 times x minus 1 is x squared minus 1x minus 1x plus 1. And then we pick up the rest of the problem. We distribute the 5. That gives me 5x minus 5 and the negative 2. So when I collect like terms, I have x squared minus 1x minus 1x is negative 2x plus 5x is 3x and then when we look at the constants 1 minus 5 is negative 4 negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6 and that is my final answer to this composition. Now, if I switch it around and say find g composed with f of x, same procedure. You take x, but this time you start off with f. So you find f of x first, and then you use function g, but you don't use g to start with. So, f of x is right there x squared plus 5x minus 2 so that's what f of x is now all of this gets put into function g okay well look what function g does it takes the input minus 1 so it takes this whole input which is x squared plus 5x minus 2. That's like my package that I'm delivering. That's what x is. And then it does minus 1. And when I collect like terms, I get x squared plus 5x minus 3. And that's the answer.